In Houston, lawyers are paid a lot of money to be bad hundreds of thousands of dollars to provide poor representation to their clients. I've been in jail for 350 days. Two years and two months. One year and eight months. I've been incarcerated in Harris County for almost two years now. Everything that I, I did, I had is gone. But I've lost my apartment, I've lost my car. Job. I've lost contact with my children. Todo, todo, perdí todo, o sea, toda mi familia. No poder verlos, abrazarlos. There's so many people here that are just forgotten about. It's just, it's like unreal. Sometimes people sit in jail, sometimes a year, waiting for trial or on a case, and they might point out that maybe once or twice, have they actually met with their attorneys? Unfortunately, in Houston, we've seen over and over again that poor people accused of crimes are assigned a very bad lawyer to represent them. This is just uh, unacceptable. The most fundamental right that a person accused of a crime has is the right to a lawyer who will zealously represent that person. Uh, there won't be an investigation without the lawyer. There won't be legal issues raised without the lawyer. All of your constitutional rights depend upon a lawyer knowing and raising those rights. The problem for a poor person accused of a crime, of course, they cannot afford to hire a lawyer. So they're really at the mercy of the system. They may be assigned a fairly good lawyer who represents them well. They may be assigned a terrible lawyer. And if they're assigned a terrible lawyer, there may be nothing they can do about that. Any mistakes that lawyer makes, any failure of that lawyer to follow through on things, investigation and so forth, uh, it's the client who suffers uh, the consequence of that. One of the things that lawyers do is represent a high volume of cases in order to make a lot of money. And in order to do that, they spend as little time on each case as possible. If you look all across the country, there are different systems that places have for providing lawyers to people. In my view, the best one is the public defender. The lawyers are paid a salary, so they don't get paid depending on how much or how little time they spend on the case. Another system is to appoint lawyers in private practice and pay them by the case or by the hour for representing people. Many places, including Houston, Texas, the judges appoint the lawyers who represent people. And unfortunately, lawyers are appointed because they contribute to the judge's campaign. And very often, these lawyers do a terrible job. More cases essentially equals more money. Lawyers, we have a certain status we need to maintain, certain cars we have to drive, certain neighborhoods we have to live in. Most lawyers come out of law school these days anywhere between 150000 to well over 200000 in debt. And so all of that puts a, a lot of pressure, a lot of uh, financial pressure on, on a lawyer. My active caseload is roughly 130 clients, most of those being misdemeanors. I know other lawyers that have many, many more cases than I do. Unfortunately, some of these lawyers don't have the client's best interest at heart. A lawyer that has a huge caseload can only spend, there's so many hours in a day, no time to conduct an investigation, no time to look into the legal issues in a case and they will just plead them out to one of the first offers simply to uh, make as much money as possible. We call those lawyers plea mill lawyers. None of the facts have been discussed with me over my case. It's just plea guilty, plea guilty, there's no plea guilty, just reset, reset. The lawyer comes down, he just handles the reset paper. 
Nine times out of ten, the court date's just going to be reset. Resets, resets, go to court, don't see him, reset. And there's nothing we can do about it. Sometimes you might go and your lawyer won't even show up. He's never there. You know, it's always a reason why he didn't show up, so. And he's like, all right, you don't want to take the offer? We're going to get a reset, 90 days. I just got frustrated with that. And I just said, man, I'd rather just, what's the best y'all can do? And I just signed for something. It makes me feel like they're playing a the game with us. Like, it's either you're going to take the time or, or you, you're going to sit here and wait. One of the things that's most troubling is that you have a number of people who were executed without any review of their cases by the federal courts because the lawyers missed the deadline for filing. A lawyer who can't file his papers on time should not be allowed to practice law, and yet he continues to be appointed year after year to lots of cases. Part of it is because he's made campaign contributions to judges who in turn appoint him to cases. prosecution prosecutes vigorously and the defense lawyer defends zealously. That's the system. But if the defense lawyer doesn't defend the person zealously, uh, then the system doesn't work. Then it's just a matter of the prosecutor uh, shooting ducks in a barrel, uh, being able to win cases because there's no resistance uh, by the defense lawyer. So it's absolutely essential. If the system is going to work, People have to be represented by lawyers who are loyal to the client, not loyal to the judge. You know, there are some states like New Jersey and Colorado that have very good statewide public defender programs. Public defender offices that have the resources uh, and the people uh, to do the job and to provide zealous representation to people. It's not, uh, not something we have to invent. It's out there. We just have to do it.